We're gonna take a look at our chicken. Oh, it's looking amazing. <laughs> barbecue and today we're gonna be doing a smoked chicken on the grill so this is gonna be a fun one uh, it's probably gonna take us about two and a half hours give or take uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm doing the snake method on my grill so uh, we want to slow cook on this one I'm expecting about two and a half hours to you know maybe three three and a half give or take but a uh, long slow cook so snake method excuse me I had my chicken actually brining overnight so I did a dry brine so that's ready to take out so what we're gonna do we're gonna head inside um, pull the chicken out get that seasoned up the way that we want let it rest for a minute and then it'll be ready to go on the grill all right so I have my chicken like I said that's been dry brining for the past 16 hours go ahead and sit that on our prep rack and uh, you know it looks pretty good it's ready to season up on that brine really should have worked on the skin so that once it gets on the flame uh, that crisp up really well and yeah the only thing I'm going to do now is just season it with my own uh, rub and actually it's uh, one from Fresh Jack I'll show you real quick uh, so not sponsored or anything but they got a really good smoky southwest that I like and so I'm going to go ahead and put that on the chicken and go from there chicken rubbed down with our fresh jack smoky southwest um, only thing I'm gonna do now I'm gonna do a light injection with it I made an apple juice and garlic uh, injection basically so a little bit of water in there as well to, to dilute it but yeah apple juice water and garlic so we're gonna inject that into the chicken real quick and then it'll be ready to go on the grill <music> so we got our chicken on the grill so we're probably not even gonna touch it open it up or peek at it at all for about an hour and 15 minutes we really want that smoke to get in that chicken really well and um, we got it right now at about 3 305 315 range so we're gonna just see what low 300s is gonna do to it and then we may kick the temp up but we're just gonna let that work on it for about an hour come back to it right we're at the hour and 43 mark so we're gonna take a look at our chicken oh it's looking amazing so that skin looks really crispy we got a nice char to it we're gonna run some temp on it if it's looking good then we're gonna take it off running our temp gauge and we are at 166 rising a little bit so we are good to take this chicken off we're gonna take our chicken inside get a slice and give it a taste test it's looking great though all right so now is the moment of truth so i got my piece so i'm gonna see if uh that hour and 45 minutes is worth the wait just initially looking at it looks really juicy you can it just has a very smoky smell let's see how it tastes mm. so it's definitely right you kept they kept the juiciness but this southwest like this smoky southwest seasoning that i used uh, penetrated the meat really well um for those people worried about the dry brine is it gonna make it salty it hasn't um it doesn't taste you know salty at all actually it just tastes really flavorful so that brown worked really well on the skin to get it crispy uh, getting us that bark but it also maintained uh, its moisture on the inside probably thanks to that injection so another good cook let me know how yours turned out 
Um, hopefully yours turns out just as good as mine. This is definitely going to be one of my menu staples, having a, a grilled whole chicken. Man, it yields so much meat for little cost, and it's really flavorful. So enjoy. Thanks again for watching. And still barbecue. This is Anthony. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, till next time, catch you later.